satisfy your need for happiness through your own curiosity with the Ranveer Show. I want to talk about Eastern philosophy in general yeah. versus Western philosophy. Yeah. For example, this is not all Indians, but when you're in this country, you usually at some point in your life start thinking about the meaning of life. Mm -hmm. And depending on whichever religion you belong to, like you usually go back to the teachings of your own religion. Mm -hmm. Uh but you question the purpose of life a lot. Mm -hmm. What's life like? Very generalized question. But what's life like? for an average and i love white people but i'm using white people as an example here for uh yeah, this just, question yeah, just what's the average white person's mindset about life and death i don't know that people that's a question i think people don't contemplate that much out loud because it starts to seem pretty hopeless like what is the meaning of life leave this place better than when you found it there's all these kind of general things you can say, but if you really delve into that question, it can start to feel kind of hopeless. That's where I think God is incredibly important. Uh, I want to shout out my wife. She's sick, but she has a relationship with God that like I marvel at. It's She knows a lot about the faith and all that, but she also just says these things that are so wise. So even in immaturity, it's so mature. And uh, I don't know. I just want to shout out. This is a cool story, but like I remember she had never really experienced death in her family. And then during not from but within a span of eight days, she lost her Nanaji, whom she loved, who was like the, the, her favorite, and then one of her Masis, who she also loved dearly. And I remember her saying, I'm mad at God. And I was like, oh, dude, what a mature, it's, it sounds immature, but what a mature way to look at I'm so God, like afraid of God that I would never say something like that out loud. But then I was like, oh, if you, if you look at God as like a parent who loves you, sometimes your kid is going to be mad at you. That's okay. I know he still loves me. I know they still love me. Uh, I don't know. This is a cool story that just came into my mind, and I just wanted to shout that out. But like, I think for her, if you ask her faith, it's just if you ask her the meaning of life, it's get closer to God at all times. The closer you get to God, the closer you get to enlightenment, and then that you're you're free. Yeah. That's the core that of Eastern is, philosophy. That is Hinduism. That is yeah. Sikhi. That is everything. Yeah. In Eastern, for the West, I think it's make it to heaven probably but that is from tending to your own garden maybe taking care of your wife taking care of your kids doing community service when you can giving 10 percent to the church i think there is probably those are the differences if you delve into this faith western versus eastern western is do good to get to heaven eastern is be free isn't there more atheism in the west generally speaking again i feel i feel people don't have a concept of a higher power or are agnostic where they know something they're exists. a lot more agnostic than atheists atheists are fewer and further between than you'd think explain what an atheist is atheist is there is no god i say that with a period at the end i say that with absolute certainty and i think it's foolish to believe in god hmm. and they are they preach just as much as religious people very annoying right right uh, and i'm sure other people have said this i remember andrew being like at least a christian who's preaching to you wants you to go to heaven an atheist has no good purpose behind their preaching. Uh, but yeah, that's an atheist. An agnostic is, I don't, I don't know if there's a God. I think I would lean toward no, but I don't know. I have no idea. And I, I've been agnostic at times for sure. And I think that's something you can come in and out of. Um, but yeah, I, I think there's a lot more agnosticism in the West than there is in the East. There's this book called The Autobiography of a Yogi, which was Steve I love Jobs'. That book. Oh, you've read it? Param Hansa Yogananda. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. You've read this? I've read this. Okay, so it's the one book written by an Indian person, which is extremely popular worldwide. Yeah. It's probably one of the most popular book that's come out of India. Mm -hmm. um, and once you read it, you understand why it's both Steve Jobs' favorite book and Virat Kohli's favorite book. And we keep bringing it up on the show regularly. Uh, and something shifts within you. Uh, when you read that book. I need to reread it. I read it when I was like 24, 23. I would like to reread it. So what I have read about the book is that it was the first book written by a sage from India mm -hmm. where he wrote the book directly in English. Ah. So normally sages at that time, this is like the 1940s, yeah. 1950s. Yeah. Before this phase, books were written only in Sanskrit yeah. or I'm assuming a local language like Hindi. Yeah. Um, and Hindi is a more complicated language than English. And I say that as a, it's a deeper language. It's yeah. more poetic. Yeah. Sanskrit is a whole other level of yeah. 
poetry yeah. within the language it's a very complex very advanced language and you're able to encapsulate very elaborate emotions within words mm-hmm. in sanskrit mm-hmm. for example there's a word in hindi called mamta mm-hmm. and mamta translates to mother mother's love uh-huh. that's a very specific emotion okay. like motherly love okay. so you can say i feel mamta for the puppy okay and maybe even a guy could feel a sense of mamta yeah. to some degree but you associate it with girls now this is what hindi is to english now imagine a, a whole other language which has even deeper mm-hmm. stuff than hindi yeah. so for example ranveer the name means ran which is a uh, war field mm-hmm. okay and veer which is brave mm-hmm. so the hindi translation of my name is uh, uh, brave on the battlefield but if you get into the exact sanskrit translation of what ranveer means it translates to something like the breakdown r n v r which in some way and we had a sanskrit scholar on the show who told me this it means that this person if he is named ranveer as he goes forward in life he perceives life to be more of a battle but he also becomes braver and more capable of doing it mm. and it's believed that your name in indian culture becomes your life's mantra so you become your name and you get the mm. qualities of what your name is ah. which is why all indian names are based on some deeper meaning mm. uh nothing I against mean, like no, other right. names but I, it's not just indian names i think even uh, um, like in islam all the names have a deeper meaning okay uh i'm i'm assuming that even names like john and jack have some biblical reference and yeah it's a usually it's, reference to a person in the bible and it's based on that i mean joe the, in, is jesus's dad Joseph. Hmm. Yeah. It's based on the fact that maybe you gain the qualities of that person. Maybe, but we they don't we're they're disconnected from that. And I don't mean that as an insult, it just is what it is. Yeah. That's the beauty of India, bro. You're exposed to all these scholars who know all these eastern philosophy mm-hmm. uh nuggets and your process of life and the process of the evolution of your mind keeps Yeah. It it gets really fast here. Yeah. There's downsides to living in India, but there's a lot of upside if you're a reflective person. Yeah. Uh Do you feel like you're becoming more like the sky? Um, <laughs> that's interesting. Maybe because I do feel like I feel like my potential is up there. I feel like my potential is up there, and I'm starting to reach it now. I feel like I'm just starting to get there. Mm. And I, for a long time, I didn't have as much confidence in my stand-up ability. Like I would see a lot of comedians, and I would be like, "Man, I don't know if I can do that." And now I'm looking at a lot of them and be like, "Oh, they can't do it. I can do." And I don't mean that as a shot. That's just where my confidence is now. And so maybe, yeah, maybe I'm feeling like there is no real ceiling. We can just keep going. Maybe. Hey, if you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel. You'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it.